When you're opening champagne, it's far better that it's been in the fridge, preferably overnight. But you must always point it away from people, take the muzzle off carefully, and then what I find, it's easy to turn the bottle and hold the cork mm. and just ease it out like that. And hopefully Gosh. it won't. That's very good. When I hear my friends doing that, it's a lot louder. That's right. the way to do it, though, isn't it? A soft pop. The other thing is glasses. Now, whilst these are My mum had these. <laughs> whilst these are very retro, they're not really that practical for champagne. It's probably better as a cocktail glass yes. now. And the reason for that is because... Lots of the bubbles will escape very quickly. Yeah. And the whole beauty of champagne is you want to have a lovely stream of bubbles to the bottom of your glass. I like these. This is the M&S Windsor range. And the nice thing about it is it's got a bowl at the bottom that's wider than the rim at the top. And it does normally take a couple of pores like that to get it in anyway. And don't put too much in. No, because if you do that, you should get between six to eight pours from a bottle. So that's yeah. ideal for a party, particularly if you're serving it as an aperitif. 